What's going on YouTube? It is I, BK Dub, back with some more F1 2021. Continuing on with Breaking Point. We've made it to Chapter 6. And we are, let's see, we're at the Mexican Grand Prix. Two months after our last race. Only a handful of races remain in the season. Time is running out. A dip in form over the past few races has the team desperately hoping for a strong f performance from both of us. All right. The seat swaps continue. Firm McLaren. All right. Moved. Oh, mom's calling. Let's talk to mom. Mom? Aiden, I'm here. Oh, good. After that flight delay, I was starting to get concerned. <laughs> Don't worry. Everything's fine. And they're uh, looking after you? Better than at Silverstone. Good, because you were my lucky charm there, Mum. And I'm hoping you do the same here. I'll try, love. Now just do what you do, and everything will be great. I know. Mirror signal maneuver. And always stick to the speed limit. <laughs> I'll try. Have a great race, Aiden. I'll see you after. I'm so pleased you're here, Mum. This one's for you, eh? Always stick to the speed limit. What, what is the speed limit on a track like this? Alright, social feed. Okay, all caught up. Email. As we push into the final few races, I wanted to send a message to the team, thanking everyone for their hard work. Yes, we've had ups and downs. It's humbled me every time. See the creativity. Slide into home straight. Let's keep her. Yeah. Mr. Doyle. Thought you came across really well. Oh, the interview with Trackside finally happened. You're becoming pretty good at this, yay. Mexico has a reputation being a fast track, but this circuit has tricky technical sections, which are going to be tough to get right with reduced downforce. Oh, oh. A couple long, one long stretch, decent stretch, and a bunch of funkiness. All right, that'll be fun. Cool, cool. Alright, let's go to the race. Mid race. Only a handful of laps remaining. Looking to both drivers for points in order to improve their position. One last push is needed from Aiden, desperate to keep pace with his teammate. Okay. How's it feeling out there, Aiden? Right? Yeah, good. good. I, I think, think we can start, start to push a little. Uh, uh, where's Casper? Ahead, ahead of you. Don't, don't worry about Casper, Aiden. Let's, Let's just, just improve, improve your current, current position. position. Yeah, yeah, copy. copy. Catch up to Ackerman, huh? Casper sat, sat in P8. Zoom, zoom, zoom. I'll catch up to him by 
Yeah, four places go. He's eight seconds ahead. All right, all right. I can do this. Whoa! Where'd that guy come from? You're five, five places, places behind Casper. Five, five places, places separate, separate you. you. Yeah, I appreciate that guy. Gap to car in front is 2.8 seconds. Took that turn a little wide. It's okay. Casper sat in P8. Ah, uh, seven and a half seconds. I lost on him. The gap behind us is 1.9 seconds. Your four places down on Casper. That turn wide again. Okay. All right, let's get on it. Okay, gap ahead is two point one seconds. Sat in P8. Shut up. Hey, I didn't take that turn wide that time. Oh, I took this one wide. Oh, no, here's the turn I take wide. There we go. That's killing me, too. Every time. Your four, four places, places down, down on Casper. Casper. Shut up. The cup line has started, started to, drop to drop back. back. There's, There's a gap, gap beginning to form. I don't care. I need to get past these guys. These are the ones that are just giving me fits.
Casper sat in P8. guys oh, I got one lap to catch him from anyone All right, either in the stands or at home the determination on show from Racing Point and Aidan Jackson today No, you're not wrong there Ants his performance has improved race by race throughout the season and his driving today impeccable here's a test room now though as they head down the lane straight there's a lot of friction between these two and his teammates after him Willie Budge hold position Aidan oh I've never seen anything like this on a race track before two teammates wheel to wheel keep it clean is separating them and they crash oh they've come together in spectacular style and they're both out of the race <laughs> that's hilarious disaster both took terminal damage Oh, look at that. Shaking your head at me. Close the door. Sit down. What the hell was going on out there? We've invested millions in you two. Millions. And look at you both. Acting like like a couple of school kids. You've got a lot to prove this year, boy. And you're swanning around like butter wouldn't melt. And as for you, you should know better. I'm disgusted. You should both be ashamed. Brian, not a I... word. Not a single word. I should fire you both right here and now. You've screwed our chances this season. The team is bigger than you two and your petty squabbles. Grow up! Anymore, <laughs> and you're both out. Do you hear me? I'll finish the season behind the wheel myself if I have to. Both of you, get out. Yeah, get out. Yeah. 
point is he gonna yield at? I'll just leave you be. Yeah, you'd better. Be okay. Did she know I'm safe? Yeah, she saw you climb out. She's fine. I left her with your mother. Okay, good. You survived worse, you know? Doesn't make it any easier. Maybe not, but you're not her. And you have a family who love you. The rest are just details. Oh, he has a family. I'll see you later. Oh, we take each other out for drinks. It was fun. Huh. Oh, hey, look, a new device. It's fancier. Wow. Oh, cause I am Casper. Okay. Wait, so... That's the person that came in and talked to me, right? But that looks like... Her? Is that my wife and kid? I don't know. That looks like it's been sitting there for a while. Oh, next season? This season's done? 20, it's 2021, a new season, the possibility of a fresh start for Casper Ackerman and Racing Point. Following the unceremonious end to the team's chances of 2020, both driver and team are looking to deliver a strong start at the season opener in Melbourne. season of Formula One racing is upon us. Some teams confident following pre-season, whilst others still looking for answers. Let's see what the future holds for them as qualifying gets underway here in Melbourne. So, Aidan Jackson in ninth. Martin still hopeful the youngster can secure a decent position. Let's see how he gets on here. The teammate Kasper Ackerman didn't make it through to Q3, narrowly missing out by just 13 milliseconds. You did all you could. If I went out second today, I would have those 13 milliseconds back, no problem. Why do they keep sending me out first? 11th isn't the end of the world, Casper. You'll make those places back. Yeah, for sure. You shouldn't have to. Grand Prix season, bring on the speed. It may be a little too much. Oh, man. That's a loud phone. That answer. Zoe, hey. Morning, Daddy. Lily, uh, you know it's not morning where Daddy is, right? Mommy says you're on the other side of the world. <laughs> That's right. Daddy is in Australia. I'm upside down. Then why don't the cars fall off? Uh, Mommy can explain that. Uh, can I speak to her? <laughs> don't fall off, Daddy. I won't, Lily. Promise. Hey, qualifying not so good, huh? Uh, they sent me out first. Again? Yeah. Well, some of your best races were coming from midfield. Yeah? Yeah. Besides, I thought you loved a challenge. Lils, off the table. Now. It's breakfast time. I should go. Sure. You'll be great. You always are. Love ya. Love you too. Love ya. Team changes. Yeah. 
going big down under my fancy oh with the new team on there nice nice Now's the time to make up for it. Okay. Make sure you're aware that the Mexico incident from last season is being referred to occasionally in the press. However, Aston Martin are mentioned. Brian did a good, positive interview for us, and this is the kind of attitude we want to push forward. Okay, sure. Not that we're expecting anything different, but it looks like a nice, clear weekend. Cool. Still here. Hey, Cass, well, let me know if you're free for coffee. Yay, coffee. Okay. Go to the race. Mid race. Tensions from last year looking set to continue into this season. Casper pushes onward toward the inaugural race of the 2021 season. All right. Something's, Something's not right. right. Understood, Casper. We're on it. It's the give up. I've lost the gear. Push, push on, on Casper, Casper, we're assessing. Just, just push, push on, on best you can. can. That's right. Okay, bad news on the gearbox. The team are trying everything they can think of, but they're not optimistic. Um, just keep at it. Do your best. That's all we're going to ask. <laughs> just do your best. Thank you. I don't have seventh gear. Sounds so funky. Yeah, since I've done this track before, I do feel a little more familiar with it. of fuel remaining. I'm missing a gear, I just feel like it's affecting other gears too, it just feels weird. Oh, I couldn't get off that curve, that was funky.
this. Our gap, gap to the car in front is 4.2 seconds. Oh, that sound. Two laps long. We're training, training our teammate by 7.1 seconds. seconds. Yeah, I'm not going to catch our teammate. Doesn't matter. We've only got two laps of fuel left. I don't care. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right, all right. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. The car line is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. There we go, we got this. A checkered pack. Right, race over. over. Take, Take care, care of the car on the way in.
victory for the team from Milton Keynes then after a quality performance. I like how the camera shows the camera shows the camera. Still managed to finish, but that's got to be frustrating. <coughs> yeah, it looks like maybe it was a gearbox fault, which is always a blow for the driver. Ackerman won't be happy, but I'd say he's done very well in the circumstances. Yes, I did. This is the start he would have wanted after last season. Let's hope things pick up for him. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sport that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Who's that guy? He like has his own trophy. But he's not like first, second, or third. Oh, he's constructor? They give a constructor a trophy and he gets sprayed with champagne. Fun. Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. Sure, I don't want to talk about it. So not a great race out there for you today, Casper. Can you talk us through what happened? All right. Well, it was clearly an issue with the gearbox. Not a great place to be as a driver, but we'll work on it, I'm sure. Well, despite obvious vehicle difficulty, you still managed to finish. How hard is it to bring it over the line when facing such issues? That's it. It's difficult when I can just complete, but... I'll well, do this that. is where experience comes in. You just have to switch off, be mindful, but try and ignore what is going on around you. To concentrate only on the problem at hand and hope for the best. While it's an unfortunate start to this season, last season was muddied by a tense relationship with your teammate. How are things now with you and Aiden? That was last season. It's no secret that Aiden and I had a few run ins. But that's the risk when you put two drivers together for the first time. I don't like to look back, only forward. I'm sure he's learned a lot, and we'll see what happens this season. Great. Well, that's everything. Great. Post race. So much for a fresh start. Whatever. Nightmare for Ackerman down under. Gearbox fault keeps Ackerman outside the points. Unfortunate then. All right. Well, whatever. Do do do. I mean, what F1 Claire have to say? I was clearly frustrated. Okay, I guess. I guess I was. Email. Sorry about the gearbox. I know it's frustrating to finish outside the points just because of a mechanical fault. We're sure we're investigating what went wrong. Okay. The man's a troll, and I didn't see the interview with Butler. I don't care about the interview with Butler. All right, let's go on to the next chapter. The Bahrain Grand Prix. Oh, I haven't raced here, have I? No, I don't think so. We're going to bounce back. Oh no, my tire wear is reaching critical levels. Ooh, funky. Got to survive one more lap. Yes, he's uh, got a different strategy there. Had a knife off there, alright. He's boxing now. Please hold off, Casper. Nine. Oh, Lord, drifting.
Okay. Okay, that wasn't ideal. Let's see if we can get a few places back, please, Casper. Come on it. Okay. Come here, you. Top 10, Ten now. now. Keep, Keep it, it up. up. All right, all right. Two people right in front of me. I can get both of them. I think. I got plenty of laps left. That's a weird turn. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Curious, I always have one more lap of fuel remaining when I actually have laps left. And they always want to remind me of that. Right, I'm four seconds behind seven. That's going to take a while. The car ahead is 4.4 .4 seconds. That's a ways. Okay, you're creating some breathing space between you and the car behind by a few seconds per lap. a weird turn. All right, I cut off almost two seconds. I'd better get around this guy. There's four laps of fuel remaining. Oh, I did get around him. Look at that. Come here, buddy.
Alright, save that. Save that. I'll take credit for that. Those guys pushed me wide. I didn't like that. Don't appreciate that one bit. Come here, buddy. You're next, Perez. Good, good, good job, job, nice overtake. overtake. Zoom, zoom, zoom. There we go. Can you catch this guy in front of me? I think I can. Yeah, uh, I have to do that turn one more time. That's put you in fifth, P5. P5. This is your, this is your final, lap, final, final lap of the race. race. Woohoo! We, we have two laps of fuel remaining. Yay, my final lap, it don't matter. Wow, we're stopping third just 24 seconds ahead. Looks like even if I wanted to, I couldn't catch it. Gap to car in front is 3.4 seconds. Yeah, I'm not making that up. Oh, fireworks. Okay, okay pick, pick up, up rubber, rubber and bring, bring it home. An interesting little encounter between Ackerman and Jackson in the pit lane. And might that cause more friction behind the scenes? 
Ackerman sounded pretty angry on the radio, didn't he? Told to box the next lap, but he came in anyway. That's not the decision of a man thinking clearly. Is he bringing his personal grievances onto the track? I think he could be. I they think he could be. A significant number of points last season, and if today's anything to go by, those issues look like continuing. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So when, at what point did I pass uh, Aiden? I don't remember passing him, but I did. I must have passed him pretty quickly. So that was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. Congratulations on a tough race today, Casper. To all of us watching, it seemed as if there was some sort of clash in pitting strategy. Can you talk us through it? Well, it's unfortunate, but these things happen. I felt the tires begin to go off and realized I needed to come in. It was a calculated risk. There's not much else to say. I pulled it back and finished the race, so no harm done. So the problem we all witnessed today was a team call and not a sign of continuing tensions again this season between you and Aidan Jackson. Well, I'm not going to lie, as I'm sure it's obvious to everyone here. Aidan and I have never really seen eye to eye, which causes some tension. But we're also professionals, so it shouldn't get in the way of our performance. I'm sure we'll work through it. Why do you ask? Well, you seemed angry on the radio with your team. People are asking if that's an indicator of a deeper issue behind the scenes. What would you say to that? Well, there's nothing to be concerned about. It's just adrenaline. You're in the middle of a race, you get hot. I can't even remember what I said. If it was, you know, colorful. Colorful? I'm sure we'll all be laughing yes. about it later. Thank you for your time. I just don't get it, so he gets to pit ahead of me. And they give his car the only new power unit last season. And he gets to go out behind me and qualify. This kid is a new number one driver. I don't believe that to be true. But then why does he get paid more? You're still upset about that. No. Well, I, I don't know, maybe. I just wish I never found out. That's why you never find out what everyone else makes. It's not the money, though, is it? I'm old. You're not old. Not this again. I, I am old. For a driver, I'm old. Come on. This is your last season. You said you'd make it count. I still need to tell them. Will you? Soon. In the meantime, forget about Jackson. Yeah, who cares about Jackson? And stop playing the victim. It doesn't suit you. All right, okay. It's Sand Vortnex, remember? Everyone's going to be rooting for you. Be the guy they love. And hey. What? Be the guy I love. Oh. That's, that's cute. Did you come up with that yourself? I'm a natural born charmer. Mm. Aww. Yeah. He's it's an old dude who's retiring. Lonely. You had to ruin it. Alright, so I did a couple more races. Survived bad tires. Kind of surprised they didn't make me do a lap with the bad tires, too. That would have been interesting. Anyways, yeah, we'll continue on with Mr. Ackerman's story next time. Hope you all enjoyed this one. I'll see you then. Bye.